Okay, some pattern trading um, for next Monday's tournament. Uh, this is, uh, what level is this? Like 2,000 something, is it? Yeah. 2,000 plus a pattern. Let's have a see if we can um, play these um, play these apples. And it is Black's turn to move. What is the continuation? So that means it's going to be so difficult and fancy. The king is right here. The pawn is blocking this square. Queen's under threat. Anything that can be sacrificed. Bishop can't get to this diagonal, so there's no point thinking that. And Queen can take, but the Queen takes. Is the Rook supported? No, because the Knight is there. Is it a matter of actually getting the King, okay, getting the king or is it a matter of winning a piece? for a better position. I think at this level it's not just about grabbing the pieces, is it? I think there's a fancy way of getting a checkmate. It's going to be like a 15 mover. So the queen takes, because there's no support on this queen. That seems to make sense, doesn't it? There's nothing supporting the queen whatsoever, so was I overthinking this? Or is this a set play of some sort? So the queen takes, what do they do? Where's our king? Our king is here. Does it have any mate threats on it? Fancy knight. Knight's not putting a check on. Knight's not putting a check on. Knight's not putting a check on. Rook can only come and support the pawn. His bishop is white square bishop, but it's blocked by this pawn here. His bishop can take our rook. So the queen taking the queen. Bishop takes, can't take the rook because the queen is actually x-rayed through. So I might be overthinking this and I bet it is just simply taking the queen off the board. It might be a little trick thing, you know, to fool people. I think it's probably a gain of material. I cannot see any devastations anywhere on our king. Unless I'm missing something. So the queen takes... Bishop can't go and take the rook. Rook's not coming down doing any fancy dancing. It's the queen taking, isn't it? Oh, it's carrying on. Damn. Keep going, it says. Well, I don't play like them. Okay, so keep carrying on. So now these knights are kind of all split up. They were supporting each other, so this is this is free. So the queen could take this knight, but we have to be mindful of fancy forks. So if we did go here, our king is on the bottom. This knight is far away from our king. Could take, think not going to take. Yeah, maybe it goes back up and attacks the queen. Or does the queen have an attack not really on here at the minute because the knight is protecting? And there is a pawn here, but the knight is protecting. So I think the queen comes and takes this knight if it's looking at gathering more material. There's no checkmate -y type stuff that I can see. So I think it comes down and takes the knight. So taking the rook like we said. So this knight... Still saying keep going. Oh, come on. I don't like these where it says keep going because you don't play like them. And there's loads of moves that you can actually do. So, again, if it's material game, it's just gather, gathering this knight up here. He does have two rooks, you know, and he does have a bishop as well. So it's not set in stone that this is a winning thing. Queen doesn't have any checks on the king. Poor bishop is not doing anything at all. Queen could come down and take the pawn, but, you know, king's looking after that. So takes the knight. And then what do they do from there? They start roughing up the queen, don't they? If they start roughing up the queen, we come here, take a check at all or something, but the bishop comes and defends. That all looks a little bit too open for me. 
I'm going to take the knight because it's there. Let's see. Oh, success. Way. <laughs> Crikey. So we'll probably over fought it, but having done many puzzles over my lifespan of playing chess, the most obvious moves aren't always the um, patterns that they're looking for, but this one seemed a little bit simple, even though it is a 2000, uh, 2000 plus rated puzzle. Okay, um, shall we continue with the training? Yeah, okay, let's go in and mess it up. We don't really like these sort of things, but um, we do them just to have a look and see how things are progressing. I'm, I'm of the mindset of, well, I wouldn't get in these types of positions, all that type of stuff. But one thing it does help with is, is the concept. It's the kind of concept of the position and looking at any potential weak areas and obviously the puzzles have been designed in certain ways and in the earlier days of puzzles I really did struggle because there were um, kind of umpteen ways that you could actually go and get your you know sort of checkmate but I think these things have kind of sorted out now and really there's probably just the one continuation that really is beneficial for you so I would say that's a slight improvement in the way that you do these pattern training things. Right, let's have a look at the situation. We're playing as white, it's our move. King is in the centre of the board. Does anything have anything, any access to any of these white squares? Yes, we have the bishop and we have the queen. And that's almost like a checkmate type position. This is a, what is this? An 1800 puzzle. Okay, so during the game, obviously, you know, you're frantically flying through your moves. This is a 10 minute rapid, but you could miss this type of move. I do believe it is this move. I am still just double checking. Uh, there's nothing blocking the way. Queen can't come here, so I think that's just a pretty straightforward. Yay, success. Excellent.